Check one, two, one, two. What's up, everybody? DJ Divine Justice here. Um, got a bit of a journey on this video, but I promise it's worth it. So I'm going to be speeding through some things, but it's just to um, cover a lot of good footage. So I'm starting with this DJ Premier song. It's about 15 minutes or so. It's a mix of all these different original samples. So I immediately take that, then drag it over into Arrangement View. That becomes this top track right here and you can see I've already gone through and you don't have to set these warp markers but I've done it so that um, it just shows me exactly where my chops are because um, what I've done is that every different spot where it switches into a different track different instrumental I went in set the bar line and did command E which is it's not going to show it right now which is um, slice so it actually wherever you have your line command e will split it that's what it is so i'll undo that so i did a bunch of those then highlighted all of them control a and did where is it crop it crops the clips then i can go back into my browser to my current project samples processed, crop, there are all the clips. Go back into session view, take all those clips, highlight them all, then drag them over and you can see it starts at track three. So when you drag them, it'll normally show up like this, but if you hold down command, it splits it sideways. So you can see it's already done that, so I won't redo that. So then I have all these individual tracks they're just loops, and I take and I warp them, move them over so that they play a little bit better because all these are live musicians, so I fixed the snares, just quantized it basically or warped it, if you know what Ableton is. If not, look up Ableton and warping and you'll know what I'm talking about. Once I have all these, I export them all. Um, when I go to the preferences, you know how to export, you know what I'm talking about. Hit export and instead do individual tracks. Um, you can do normalize, um, just depends on your preference. I like to keep it in waves, make it simple. That get exported as multiple tracks and then you're pretty much done with Ableton. The point of this is to create a bunch of sample stems, if you will, that I can use in mixing the original tracks because this is all really for a DJ mix that I'm making in Serato called where they got that from or hashtag WTGTF. So now I can go into here into my stems and for instance I think it's 24 that's going to be this DJ Premier another DJ Premier beat All right, so I know that's So Ghetto by Jay-Z. So I'm gonna go back to the stem, rename it Ghetto J-Z, but I'll actually name it, what am I calling these? Divine Justice Stems. So on the stem, just so I can distinguish it from something else, it's going to be a divine justice stem. And now over here, I just added remixer, because that's what I'll consider myself, and it's usually an empty field, and I'll just put in exactly what I'm talking about. Hashtag where they got that from. Boom. And I'll go to the actual song and put that in. And it doesn't matter if I have caps locked, be aware they got that from. Enter. And what it's doing is automatically updating the smart crate down here. So, what I've done is create a smart crate. And you, here's where you can add a normal crate, here's where you can add a smart crate. Once you've added one, It'll automatically bring you up to the screen, which you can return to here and edit, and it'll show what the rules are. So for this one, 
Oh, that's strange. Hmm. Well, for this one, <laughs> it's a good learning example, so I can show you how to add a rule. The rule that should have been there was remixer. Oh, I know. I think I changed it for some reason. Remixer contains, and then I can put in either version. Hashtag where they got that from. And leave auto, leave live update on. So when I do that, then those four songs are there. And now anytime I go and find another one, like I know I have an instrumental here for, you know, full clip or something, I can go into full clip, boom, hashtag where they got that from. As soon as I hit enter, you'll see down here that it'll update. So I'll hit enter. Saw down there, it did a little almost like refresh looking sign. And there's full clip that I just put in. Now I'm going to take that off because I haven't found that yet. So once I go in here and delete it, it takes it right out of that crate. Now the other cool thing is flips. So on So Ghetto, the way that I learned it was by playing along with the one that's already playing. Here the original. Then here's my flip. And the flips are stored over here. Then I made another one that would go along with a beat that's like 80 beats per minute. So if I throw something on that's about 80 loop it or something should go along so let me hit this second one And the whole point of having all those stems taken out of Ableton is here are now all those stems I've already imported. And anytime I load them, they're all going to be with perfect grid markers. Because I've already quantized or warped them in Ableton. So it makes it a whole lot easier to find the original and then mix it with the track that uh, DJ Premier did. Again, this is all for a mixtape coming from yours truly, DJ Divine Justice, called Where They Got That From, hashtag WTGTF. This is DJ Divine Justice signing off. Peace.